Hello and welcome back. If you're new to the channel and you want to not only perplex up your Heroclix IQ, but out with the competition, make sure to Hulk smash that subscribe button and also the little bell notification so that you're sure to not miss anything. In today's video, we are playing a game of Heroclix, but we're playing it online using the new Roll20 um, that they are using for ROC online. So me and Calder are playing a game against each other. So Calder, you go ahead and tell the people about yourself. Hi, I am Calder Ness from the Heroclix podcast, Dial H for Heroclix. You can find us on Podbean and iTunes and the whatnot. We got Facebook pages, Twitters, we got Patreons, all sorts of fun stuff. Normal weekly podcasts we do about Heroclix and all things nerdy with me and my co-host Chris Britton. All right, there you go. Sounds awesome. I've been on there a couple different times. You guys are always fun and to be with. Those are the best episodes with James. <laughs> yes. But uh, all right, so it looks like we're going to be playing a little game here. We just picked the uh, bridge map from uh, whatever that's from, X-Men. Yeah, one of them sets. And uh, so what we're going to do here is I'm playing Masters of Evil. Uh, Calder is doing uh, – or called her – is uh, doing uh, – what are you doing? Avengers, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so, all right. So, we'll go ahead and roll for initiative. Uh, I like that my camera is on, like, some part of it. <laughs> Yay. I rolled, a, I rolled a five. Oh, man. Me and Calder already played a game of this, and it didn't go my way. So, we're going we're gonna to see how it goes. Hey. Look at hey, that. there it goes. You picked. You pick sides. I pick sides. Yeah, I'll just choose top again. You'll choose yeah. the top again? Okay. A, B, C, D side. There you Alphabet. go. Don't forget your st stupid pigeon. All my pigeons. Yep. Uh, 400 points, uh, modern age, and you have to individually put in all these little characters to the map. And, of course, I choose Sam Cap. So I make James have to get out a bunch of pigeons, and download all these images. And yes. It's still fun time. <laughs> it is. It, it is fun. If I had to do it over again, I think I'd save these as a um, a dot PNG uh, to make like the background uh, clear. But you know, hindsight being twenty twenty and all. Uh, let me see here. How do I even want to set this up? This last time I got my jock rocked. <laughs> Uh, let me see here. Well, it would help if I just put people in the actual starting area too. I'm <laughs> I'm setting up like in uh, places that don't actually exist. Uh, gotta make sure I grab Eric. Can't leave yes. him out and about. Poor guy. Nope. I need to reset some of their stats too. Don't want that's to... that's what I I realized too that I like everything was not going well. This is going to be a super short game if uh, I was starting off on some of those clicks. Yeah. And uh, five. <laughs> yeah. And how uh, me and Calder are playing is uh, the red circles are your click number. The blue circle is your action token, and the green circle in the middle would be any special markers that you need. And, oh, I, there was an extra pigeon token last time so that I could use it as a barrier or something. Yep. Uh, let me see here. I'll put that there. Since I'm the only one with a guy that can use heavy objects. Okay, and we're not timing this or anything because this is a gentleman's game. We're just doing this for fun to demo to everybody how Roll20 works. So it is Calder's turn. It is my turn to go. I don't need to be rolling leadership or anything right now right away. So we're just going to go ahead and get moving. Got to whip out some cards here. Easier to keep track. Hmm. Make sure Captain America, he's got to get six, six speed one. Six. Yeah, that's what I noticed. Like, I basically I've saved my team on my phone so that I could, uh, you know, see what click number I was on. 
yeah and, and know my powers like that was i wish there was a way to have it on the computer but it doesn't seem like there's a way to do it or if there is i'm i'm not privy to that information currently yeah besides pulling up hc realm it's kind of yeah you, so yeah make sure you give him a token in the green move up thor buster he's got to get 10 speed there place that pigeon right there oh yeah Love it. In the token. Have Sam Cap carry a Hulk. Give him a token. Make this pigeon sidestep. I forgot to have Cap carry that pigeon. Eric was supposed to carry the uh, the uh, Red Wing. Made him carry a pigeon. There you go. But uh. Ugh. So. Believe she's six feet too. Yeah, she moves about right there. With the pigeon. Right there. Oh, she's coming. Section. There we go. All right, Jane. Give you one. Pigeons are moved up, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All right. We'll have Captain America perplex up Iron Man's defense, and that is all we can do for my turn. Okay. And also, guys, if you want to, if you're watching this and you're not sure how to set any of this up, I have a uh, video for it. Uh, I'll go ahead and put in a card somewhere in here so that you guys can see it. But uh, so as you know, you know where and how to get the maps and how to do the figures and stuff. But uh, let's see here. I got who do I have here? I got no. I don't need to roll anybody's leadership right now. Um, let me see here. Uh, I don't believe. Red Hog doesn't have Battle Fury or anything like that yet. Um, so, uh, leader is going to perplex up Mock's defense. Um, Mock is going to carry. Red leader, and he's going to carry him. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let me go to there. Give him his one action token. Uh, the leader got carried. We'll just drop him right there. He doesn't have an action token. Um, then, actually, we're going to put the leader right here. Uh, then we're going to have Blackout carry, I guess he has to carry uh, Red Leader. Uh, we're going to move Blackout to there. He's going to set Red Hulk down in that square with that heavy object. And we're going to move Baron Zemo. Uh, let's see here. He'd be nine. One, two. It's one, two. Move him four squares to there. And that is my turn, sir. All right. Awesome. Fun, fun, fun. Uh, started off. Have cap. Roll leadership. 
five. How about that? So I can see, take the token off the Thor Buster. Very nice. All right. Cap's got a token. She's got a token. Got I hear pigeons. Uh, oh yeah. Should we get Jane Foster up? So I'm not feeling too bad about pushing. She did not do much last time. Pigeon right. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. She's got indomitable anyways. Looking good. And then now let's see. Cap's got a token, no willpower. Sam can't shoot anybody, Hulk can't shoot on anybody, so I think that is where Call it? Have a have Red Wing move up, you know, I don't know. There you go. There yeah. next to, next to his pigeon bro there. Yeah. Give him yeah. a token. Call that good, and then we will clear cap. Eric and Sam Cap. Okay. So is it my turn? Absolutely. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is roll for leadership. Woo! Got a six. All right, we're gonna pull a token. Uh, wait a minute, his leadership's a special one, I think. I think it's I get to pull one off every Thunderbolt. Uh, leadership now. When you use the leadership and succeeds, you may remove an action token from each friendly character with the Masters of Evil or Thunderbolts keyword instead of one character. Oh, nice! Yay! <laughs> Finally, something went well. Uh. Oh, never mind. I can't pull I can't pull one from uh what's his name? It's they got to be adjacent to me, but I can pull off more than one. So it still yeah. was only blackout. Um, let me see here. You're not giving me m much to work with here. Yeah, yeah, pigeons, man. Yeah, pigeons. <laughs> uh. Who's that right in front of Captain America? Like old Cap? Uh, it's Thorbuster. Thorbuster. What's his defense? Uh, flex it up, I believe, to a 19. Uh, sorry, 20. He has a natural 19. Impervious. Okay. He has it impervious. Yep. Hmm. 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 What do I want to do here? Let's see. Here we got one. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna chuck and jive here. We got uh, blackout is gonna go ahead and carry. Um, carry whatever his name is here. Uh, uh, Baron Zemo, and he's gonna move one, two, three, four, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Five. To there. So one, two, three, five, two, three, four. Yep. Zemo okay, there. Zemo there. 
All right. Uh, is there anything on Hulkbuster that says he can't be outwitted? Uh, not at all. Okay. All right. So uh, Zemo is going to outwit um, Hulkbuster's defense. Oh, boy. Um, then Leader is going to take a power action. And he's going to perplex up Mox attack by two and damage by one. And Mock gets an extra plus one news attack from Zemo. Uh, so he is at a 13. I don't even know why I outwitted your defense. Anyway. Um, it's got pen blast, yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to, let's see, one, two, three. Yeah, all right. And he's going to carry Red Hulk when he does that. Mm, is he going to carry Red Hulk? No, he's going to carry Red Leader. One, two, three to there. We're going to set Red Leader down right there. Um... And he's going to take a shot. Uh, 13 on a 20. Needs a 7. Yo. Ten will do it. There it is. Some fives. All right. That's a four straight through. Yep. Uh, so what's his defense now? Or, like, what's his... What's on his dial? Yes, sidestep, toughness, and outwit, outwit. Okay, uh, Red Leader is going to outwit his outwit. All right. Uh, then we're going to move Red Hulk. Uh, let me see here. He gains a uh, sidestep from Zemo, so he's going to sidestep, carrying the heavy object to here. And then you can move an additional nine. Now, do uh, you can just ignore tiny size characters on movement, right? If they're smaller than you know. I believe so. Yeah. Two, four, five. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna move him all the way to here with that heavy object. Oh. And I forgot that when Mock did that, that's his second action token. So he goes to push. Yeah, yeah, he gets a push click. Uh, let me see your blackout should have one I was I was putting the action tokens in the click number I was like why does it always say one like zero uh, but uh, alright clear Zemo he should have one alright and it's your turn sir alright awesome I'd roll leadership, but there's no one really rolling on. So, set off. Look, Iron Man, side step, or busty. Where? I accidentally gave him five action tokens. What do you want? Five. Eh. Bad. <laughs> You're all right. Well, didn't you have somebody with leadership? Yeah, I had Captain America with leadership. But, yeah, uh, no that gives you five. So, yeah, yeah. So now it's fun stuff, fun stuff. 
Thorbuster was really pinnacle last game. So. Yes, yes, he was. He 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 basically eviscerated my whole team, which is why I just did that. <laughs> Very nice move. I like it. Pigeon obviously sidestep though. That is yeah. Pigeon uh, properly. All right. Is there a cap can draw line to fire? Just black. Six. Everybody else is outside the six. Outwit rain, that is. Mm hmm. So, let's see. Blackout's got anything to find? Yeah, we'll outwit his. You can outwit anything on traits and stuff nowadays, right? So, I'll take out yeah. the barrier. Yeah. Yeah, that was dumb. I, I totally forgot to use my, my free barrier smoke cloud, which is the whole reason he's on this team. Huh. Blackout's fun. He's kind of a little sleeper piece. Yeah. So you're taking away, what are you taking away? Um, uh, barrier. Barrier, okay. Yep. Take away his barrier. And then, Iron Man has six range. Six. Fun. Outwitted my outwit. So, he's great. So, let's see, he's still next to Eric, so he does have a plus one damage, at least. Anybody shooting at Really shoot a mock four or mm -hmm. red leader. Fun, 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 fun. Let's one side that that hit. Yeah, and that object is uh, being held by Red Hulk. By Red Hulk, I figured, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. So we're gonna give Eric Masterson a power action. You Perplex. Mm -hmm. Give him a token. And he's going to perplex up Iron Man's attack value by plus one. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to have want Captain America to perplex up attack of damage. Mm -hmm. Well, let's give him a 12 attack. So he's Swing in with a 12 4 with Caps Perplex, Eric's Perplex, and Eric's Enhancement. So 12 4. We're going to go to shoot Red Leader. Okay. Need a 5. 6. See what we get. Oh. Flash, then roll. Yeah. yeah. Stupid rolls. R rusty already. Oh, there it is. 8. Eight. Okay, uh, I have super senses, so uh, you don't have, um, well, not that it matters, I still get a roll. Ooh. The, right. the virtual dice gods are favoring me a lot more this game than last game. That is very true. Okay, that was their moves. Well, we definitely want Hulk to take a swing at Red Hulk. Mm -hmm. so Red Hulk's uh, locked in. A... He invincible right now. Yeah, and he has 18 defense. All right. Hulk's got his 12 attack, 4 damage. We'll, we'll have Hulk go ahead and take a swing at Red Hulk. Mm -hmm. Give him the token. So that's 12 to an 18. Five. Oh, 17. So close. We will give Sam. Try that again. Come on, Hulk. Let's let's unlock your anger with this. That's what I want to see. That's better. That's what I like. To see. Okay, so I would take two, right? Because it's reduced by two, maximum of three. That puts me on click number three. Okay. Hulk token, token. Mm -hmm. Tokens. Clear Jane Foster. Clear Red Wing. Okay. Caption. We all used our perplex. Sam doesn't have any. 
specialty. Yeah, nope. Here we go. Okie okay, dokie. We are going to uh, roll leadership with uh, Zemo. So that's this one. Oh, a one. Uh, leadership with Mock. Second click, oh wait, no, it, second right? click. Yeah, he's on. His, I don't think I have yeah. it on my second click. Now that you mention it, nope. Uh, nobody else has leadership. All right. Um, I'm going to uh, what do I want to do here? Two, three, four, five. All right. Um, two. Uh, red. Um, Mock's gonna try to roll a uh, sidestep breakaway. He's getting the sidestep from Zemo. Okay. Four, five, or six works. He's gonna carry Red Leader. And he's going to carry it there. He's going to set Red Leader down here. Um, one, two, three. What's uh, Hulkbuster's defense? Right now, just a 17 with toughness. 17 with toughness. Uh... Uh, red leader is going to perplex up blackouts attack by one just with a standard perplex uh, that brings him up to a 12 and he is going to go after um, Thor Buster All right. so an 8 should be a hit For uh, three damage penetrating. You guys don't really have on a fire. Have to give Hulkbuster a token of problem. Okay. Right, I think we got. I think we got to do it. Got to give Hulkbuster. Got okay. It. That's a nine. Oh, it's even better. All right. Hulkbuster, I guess you just died. <laughs> All right, bud. <laughs> That's two theme props I've used, got two left. All right, well, yep. Hulkbuster, a character did die next to Jane Foster. So, we will roll, see if we can bring in Thwa. Okay. I don't remember if that is my turn or when that happens right away. Let me... I don't remember. The, unless it's the only character the map, whatever. Turn character, they by in front of stack. Afterwards, yeah, afterwards. Number two. All right. Type in. Six. Put her on. Click two. In Jane. I'll just sleep for as. Jane four. Click two. Charge. Quake. Goddess of Thunder. All that good stuff. All right. Okay. okay. And Thor Buster. Hurts. All right. Keep going. All right, do we, do I have the, yeah, I got the Jane Thor. Oh, yeah, all right. All right, here, hold on, hold on a second, hold on a second. There you go, have fun. Line. 
There we go. You should be able to resize her. I can do it, I guess. I got you. There you go. And she's on click two? She's on click two. Ugh. Okay. Um, Alright, so it's still my turn. Blackout push for that? No. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Oh, he did. Okay. Um... Then, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five. What's uh, Jane Thor got on that click, right powers-wise? 17, invulnerable, she has charge, quake, no damage power. All right, I'm going to outwit her charge with uh, red leader. All right. Um, and... Let's see here. Uh, and Zemo. Is going to. Just stay where he's at. Um, I actually think. I'm going to attack with Red Hulk. Right. Um, what's, what's Jane Thor's defense? 17 invulnerable. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to try to break away, sidestep with... Uh, does he get sidestep? Other friendly characters. Nope. No sidestep for him. Uh, I'm just going to attack uh, your Hulk with Red Hulk. Uh, I get plus one to my attack from Zemo. Uh, so that's an 11 on an 18. Yo. And it's a 6. Close. Missed by... By one, so close. Does he have willpower now, or do you? Uh, so that is a second action token, taking him to click four, and I use that object now. Um, and I'm gonna clear. Um clear whatever his name is red leader and zemo oh zemo doesn't have anything uh zemo's gonna try to take out this pigeon Ooh, all right. 12 on whatever you got there a mighty 13 oh 14 excuse me that's a nine Um, Didn't deserve to go out like that. All right, and it's your turn. Okay. Horn went out for Pidgey. We'll have Captain uh, Leadership. All right. Uh Very nice. Pocket. Thinking about it, might, might have a little bit of a plan here. Wish this cap ignored hindering terrain, as you do with every stealth figure, of course. Yeah. But, well, how about speaking of stealth? I forgot to <laughs> to use blackout again. Well. Blackout. Guy. All right. Hmm. Let us see really quick what we want to do. Might have a little ace hole action going on. You're gonna have Red Wing. Yeah, I like that. Well, Captain America perplex up Red Wing's attack value to an 11, and Red Wing is gonna charge one square right here. He will attack Red Leader with his precision strike. 
No. So that is an eleven to your seven. Yep. Okay, and I still get to roll. I just need a six. Still succeed on a six. Really? Oh. Lucky, lucky. All right, so he's taking two. So that puts me on click Red. three. Give Red Wing an action token. Good job. Fine job, Bird. Always oh. Click three. They'll probably have six. I don't really know. Yeah. He does. All right, that's a shame. Okie dokie. Eric is clear. Jane is clear. Mm hmm. We can have her, you know, try to shoot him. On the, the odds you don't roll up. You know? So, let us. Yeah, no moving attack now. Not one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was yeah. trying to take away some options yeah. from you. Very nice. Very nice. I do apply to them. Hmm. She can still draw a line of fire to Baron Zemo, though, since Red Wing. Yeah, I think. So. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. We're going to have Eric move up right here. Mm-hmm. Token, so she can use his enhancement. Yep. And then she'll do an 11, believe Baron Zemo is 7. Top dial? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, 11 to a 17. Shooting 4 damage with the enhancement to mass. So. Look at that. That didn't go very well. No, it didn't go very well at all. Yeah, Wowzer. Let's give her a token. That Eric. Could give him another token to prob it. Yeah, yeah. I don't like Eric that much. I don't mind that. <laughs> Eric, token. See what happens. Or yeah. Two, six. Let's see it. That's better. I like seeing that a lot more. One prob left. Um, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna theme prob it with uh, Zemo. All right. Roll two, six. Here we go again. Seven. Still, still making it. I'm uh, I'm gonna theme prob it with Red Leader. All right. I'm burning them now. <laughs> <laughs> Money to burn. Six. Bill makes it. Uh, I'm not even a 17 anymore. I'm a 16. <laughs> um. And that's it. Okay, for how many? For four damage. Uh, that takes me to click six. And that's. Oof, that's not, uh, I'm not looking good here. Okay. Alright, we got a token. We got two. And, let's see. Still got Cap, who still has an Outwit. And, Moat Cloud, which I've been <laughs> We'll have Captain America out with Blackout's Barrier. Okay. Two action bar. We do remember that, too. Mm hmm. So we don't have a ton of tokens for Smoke Cloud. So. Well, Sam Cap has willpower, so he can take a swing at that red hole. Mm-hmm. Don't want him mm -hmm. to do that. So that's you have an 18 right now. Um, red Hulk? I don't think so. 
Um, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. It is an 18. 18 with invulnerability. So we'll have Sam Cap take a swing at that. 11 to an 18. Mm hmm. Three. All right. <laughs> the dice are not working for this game. Last game, I was like, man, I, I need to take this every tournament, tournament I go. I know I was, you were on fire last time. I was on fire, but whew, with this, not so much right now. All right, so he's got two tokens. Eric's got two tokens. So we're going to clear Hulk. Captain America doesn't clear. Well, we need Captain America to move up anyways, so we can uh, might as well get him in a better spot after. Right there. Okay. So, leadership. Alright. And clearing Hulk. Zero. Alright. Woo! There we go. It is your go. Okay, well, uh, Red Leader has poison, so Red Wing goes away. Poison, didn't even think about that. Poor Red Wing. Um, then, let me see here. One token, two tokens. Two tokens. Two tokens. Um... Um, Blackout's going to carry Red Leader using Sidestep. Red Leader's going to go right there. Then Red Leader's going to use Sidestep. All right. Two. Um... I forgot I still had Mock. I didn't clear him or anything. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, we're going to... Uh, Red Leader's going to perplex up Red Hulk's attack by one. All right. Um, and Red Hulk's going to swing on regular Hulk. That would be a uh, 11 on a 18. All right. Seven's a hit. Right. How you need it to. Okay. You got an impervious roll. Only thing saving Hulk right now. Woo! And wow. we make it. That was Dang it. close. That was close, Hulkster. Um, so I used Colossal Stamina for that. That's how I was able to do that. Oh, okay. Um, then Red Leader's going to outwit Jane Thor's um, charge. Does she still have charge? Uh, she does still have charge. Um, what's, what do we got back here? Um, and then one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to use one of these little hammers like it's a uh, smoke cloud marker. And I'm going to put that under Jane so she gets a minus one attack. Oh, man. <laughs> no. All right. I'm going to clear blackout. Clear Zemo. Clear Mock, now that I remembered I have him. <laughs> and ah. clear Red Leader. All right, your go. That is so rough. All right, so that puts Red Hulk is on what click then? Five? Uh, yes. Because the push? All right. We are going to have, well, first we're going to have Captain America World Leadership. Two. Okay. 
That is fine. We can work with this. Don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry about it. Danger. Doing. Oh, man. Earl, what are you doing? That is not what I want you to be doing right now. All right, we <laughs> have. We'll have Hulk take a swing at Red Hulk. Okay, it's a uh, 17 with uh, Invol. 17 with Invol, so that's 12 to 17. Here mm -hmm. we go. Ooh. Wow, there we go. That's that's the hit I wanted. Okay, so that's for two more, which is seven. I'm still kicking. I ain't dead yet. Still kicking. Oh man, this this Red Hulk he's kind of tough to take down. All right, now let's see. 16 defense, which means if this pigeon rolls a critical hit, we win. All right. Still has toughness. What am I saying? Damn. Damn. Son of a gun. <laughs> uh, I want this pigeon to be my ace in the hole. All right. Pigeon. Well, doesn't does the pigeon have a zero damage? He has a zero damage. Isn't the there pigeon. something out like rule of zeros? You can't. Uh, rule of zeros. It doesn't actually go up. Yeah. yeah. Man, this pigeon. Oh, I really wanted this pigeon to uh, do this. I used to have pigeons roll critical hits all the time. By that, I mean it happened once out of the eight games I played with Falcon. Worth it. Sheer amount of pigeons. It is worth it. Oh, it's totally worth it. Love these guys. All right. This pigeon needs to sidestep, though. Let's not let their overwhelming uselessness take away. Got to have that guy sidestep. Let's see. What else can we do? Everybody has tokens. Jane has one token. She's tokened up. Pulse. As a token for swinging, Cap has a token. So, Cap is going to flex up Jane's defense. And then, I think, y'all just got to clear everybody. And Cap can't draw a line of fire to anyone for outwit, sadly, right now. Clear the rest of the team. Oh, I'm so happy. I've been dying to do this ever since I got Red Hulk. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. Uh, opens up his crazy damage power ability right now. Yes. Um, so, Red Leader's gonna sidestep two to there. He's going to outwit Hulk's defense. Okay. Um, then he is going to take a power action, power action. to perplex up um, Red Hulk's attack by two. And he's going to perplex up his, uh, and he's going to perplex down Hulk's defense by one. Um, then Red Hulk's going to use Colossal Stamina and his special uh, Gamma Radiation Emission. Give Red Hulk a power action to make a close combat attack targeting all adjacent characters when he does... Uh, he deals damage to each hit character equal to Red Hulk's click number minus one. Oof. So that'd be six clicks of damage. And I have a 14 attack. This is where we hope and pray for a critical miss. And it's a 10. Uh, not, <laughs> certainly not going to be that. So uh, Hulk's defense outwitted, which yep. means he dies. Yep. Oh, we'll get that out of the road. That impervious roll was BS. I didn't want that to happen again. <laughs> uh, Falcon, thank goodness, still has invulnerability and super senses. We're going to try super senses with Falcon. Dang it, you lucky oh, SOB. Man. That is luck. Okay, that well, the luck. pigeon's gone anyway. Pigeon is. Oh, yeah, that pigeon is <laughs> like <laughs> dust. Uh, and that KO is Red Hulk. And that KO is Red Hulk. That pushes him. Death. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, worth it. Um. <laughs> that yeah. isn't an insane ability. Yeah. It was. That's the first time I've ever gotten that to go off in a meaningful way. He almost always like gets rushed. Ah. Uh, yeah. Um. Let me see here. What do I got? What do I got? What do I got? Not much anything. Um. All right. Um, what's what's Jane Thor's defense? Still a seventeen in vulnerability. Seventeen in vulnerability. All right. Sidestep with blackout to there. 
carrying Zemo. Zemo's going to go here. Um, then... Uh, Blackout's going to go ahead and try to attack Jane Thor um, with Psychic Blast. It's a... He gets plus one attack from Zemo. So it's a nine, I believe. Yep. I'm sorry, ten attack. And, uh, so I need a seven. I don't remember if I perplexed that for defense or not. Captain America. Pretty sure. I, pretty oh, sure. I missed anyway. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Um, then I've got mock still. We can do things. Uh, mock's gonna try to running shot psychic blast. All right. Jane Thor. One, two, three, four. To there. Oh, well, no, I can't go there. I'd have to tag the pigeon. Four. Pigeon. Five. Leave that. You're doing something useful. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll go from there. Uh, so that's an 11 on your 17. Go. Woo! For three with Psychic three. Blast. All right. That takes her down. Click five. All right. And Baron Zemo has sidestep, so we're going to sidestep. Even though he was carrying, he can still do that. And that's that's my turn. All right. We are going to have Captain America. Roll I think everybody's cleared. Yeah, the only person that tokens is the last game. Mm -hmm. No need to roll leadership. Excuse me. Let's see. James Ranger. Neat O. All right. So Captain America is going to flex up Jane's defense. Uh, sorry, Jane's attack value by plus one. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to have him move. Four, six, seven. All the way around that hindering. Get him to mm -hmm. Give him a token. And then Eric Masterson is going to move. Where can you move, buddy? Without getting decimated. Well, I suppose if she pulls waves, it won't be the end of the world. So you know what? You're just going to perplex up her defense, uh, her attack value by another plus one. Give you a token to do so. Giving her a 12. Her perplex is going to deal one damage anyways, man. Just Mm -hmm. This pigeon is going to sidestep two squares. Not that it's going to help him. Four, yes. Yeah, so that's going to hit everybody. I wish it was like checkers where if you got a pigeon all the way to the other side of the board, you got a red wing. Oh, that would be awesome. <laughs> that's yeah, a house rule somewhere. Yes. Yeah, turn, turn a pigeon into a red wing. That, that would be great, actually. I would love that so much. All right. So she has 12 attack. Pulse waving. Going to hit everybody within... Four. So that's fun. So basically, uh, all you guys and Eric. Well, if does doesn't Eric's perplex go away? So she's not the plus one. Oh, now? you're right. It's not even gonna, it's not even gonna work. So there's no reason to have him do that. I mean, you did it. You right, yeah, no, nah, take the gentleman's game. Gentleman's okay. game. Okay. Well, we'll we'll move one action token off of Eric then. And so she has an eleven attack. To everybody's whatever pulse waving all for one yeah i think 17 hits everybody you you missed everyone missed everybody wait what uh, yeah. your attack was what uh it would be captain america's perplex it would be an 11 so 11 15. yeah you missed everybody i can eric prob that um i have one left 
it was what was it just a pulse wave pulse wave yeah i'd say probably not because he's within the area of effect in line of fire yep all right jane get a token and go sit in the back of the classroom that's rough that is rough i rolled what four i didn't even hit eric that's how sad that is <laughs> Well, we're going to keep Eric's one action token and he'll flex up her defense. Okay. okay. Yeah. So she kind of needs it. And Falcon has range and line of fire to Red Leader. I don't know why it took me so long to that. He has range and line of fire to Red Leader, so he's going to go ahead and shoot yep. at yep. Red Leader. He has precision strike. He has an 11 attack. Red Leader 16. Yep. Yep. that hits okay rolling for uh, super senses oh that's a four for how many three damage three that's enough to get them all right nice. and that is all we can do that's all four actions we used up our plexes and get a chance these are out with that's all right and it is your go okie dokie i don't have anything super useful i can do i can sidestep i suppose to go one two to there um then I think I'm going to have to do something with Baron Zemo. It's a, um, he's got com uh, close combat expert. I'm going to, what's Jane Thor's defense? It would be an 18 since I'm flexed up. It's an 18 with toughness. 18 with toughness. Uh, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to dump both into attack to make an 11. All right. So I need a 7. Oh, okay. for two damage. All right. So that's one after you uh, reduce. So she'll take one click. Janey. Janey, 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 you're in rough shape. I mean, you're on a stupid good click right now, but still rough shape. And I'm going to clear uh, Blackout and Mach 4. And it's your turn. All right. Roll up Cats in America, roll leadership. Mm hmm. Five. That is why I love leadership. I'm, even though my dice rolls still aren't as good as last game, I am still hitting a good amount of leadership rolls. Yeah, you're doing good. I, like to see. I, I would say that uh, dice aren't necessarily a factor in this game. We've rolled equally good and bad. Very true. Very true. <laughs> But, yeah, I just keep throwing out that guys. I love leadership. It is my favorite power by all means. Ugh, love it so much. So dang good. We're going to have Jane Pulse Wave again. She has an 11 attack. Mm -hmm. Let's see, actually. We want, we want people to move some places first. Sam Cap. Let's see, if he's carrying Cap, he can running shot five squares. One, four, five be within pulse wave range or he can move by this way she uh, hindering but right now we'll just take it safe she's an 11 attack she's gonna mm -hmm. pulse with everybody Let's see what we can do 17 hits everybody all right here we go we a six that's oh. what i like to see there you go uh so that takes care of zemo um, that puts Decimate blackout on it. click three. That puts mock on click three. Eric on click two. And it's your, that, well, I mean, it's still your turn, but. And that is a push for Jane. So she does kick the bucket. Oh, she does. she does. Yay. She does. Yep. 
so well, that's your hindering. I guess. Yeah. I'm gonna back to the totally side. forgot that that was there. Yeah, whenever you want to. Uh, I'm gonna say uh, you, you didn't really say it was there. So. There you go. Yeah, no, it, I I, it was. It was a ten, anyways. So. I forgot it was there. It it had been several turns ago. Captain America is going to flex up Sam Cap's attack value. Sam Cap's going to running shot up to here, right next to Eric. Place normal Cap right here. Sam Cap is going to shoot blackout. Mm -hmm. 12 to his, what, 17? 16. 16. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Six. Five. Just, just. Just enough. One over. Nice. Four. How many? All right. That'll be for four damage. Okay. For four, that's... He's out, see? All right. And let's see what's on Mach 4. Now, Wit. Does he still have his penetrating psychic blast? Yes, he does. All right. We will outwit that with Captain America. Okay. And then we will clear... Eric Masterson and clear old man Steve Rogers. Okay. And it is your yo. All right. What's uh, Steve Rogers have on his defense? He has a 17 with combat reflexes. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to running shot. Two, three, to here. And I'm going to dual target. Uh, Steve Rogers and Eric Masterson. Oh boy. A nine. A nine. Hmm. And I'm dealing three damage. I'll do two to Eric and one to uh, old Steve. Hey, my Jared, so that is do a thunder strike thing. So that is a that's two plus whatever I roll on the bring in thunder strike. Let's see. Two plus four. That'll put him on click number six. We'll say Eric it's thunder strike now. Neat. Neat O. Alright. Here I go. Normally uh, uh Eric is Oh yeah, there we go. Ginormous enough, okay. Yeah. Not there we are perfect. Move Eric off the side. Game. I can't grab him. There you go. There we go. Now I got him. Now I got him. Thank you. Mm-hmm. We got a boom. Now we got Thunderstrike there. Put him on click. Six. Yo. Sandstorm one. Two. All right. Put that in last game. Gosh, yeah, zero token. Alright, there we go. Oof, that takes away my nice enhancement. Cat does still have his special damage power, though. Mm-hmm. Here we go. And that's all for your turn, right? Yep, that's all I got. Okay. We're going to have Captain America roll leadership. Mm-hmm. Slash first. Got to make sure we do them slashes. Two, all right. They can't all be winners. It's all right. We're gonna. You have toughness right now. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, seventeen. Eric's gonna sidestep up. Cap is gonna outweigh your toughness. We're gonna perplex up Eric's attack. That is eleven to seventeen. No. Let's see, Eric can shoot you with his five range. Ten. There we go. Uh, for how many? That's for three. Two, three. Oh, he's on his little... So that'd be click six. There you go. Falcon, it is now officially up to you. Here you go, Falcap. I have a uh, 16 with energy shield. Ooh, okay, so he's got an 18. Mm -hmm. All right. A little, little worried, but we still... Feeling confident enough to take this swing. Come on, Falcon. I believe in you. I believe in you. They didn't just give you the mantle of Captain America for nothing. Let's see, 11 to an 18. We need a 7. 
Ooh. Ooh. Just, just missing it there. So close. All right. Giving you a second token. You tried. That's what matters. Mm-hmm. You give up in the face of adversity. And not going to eat cats in America. Any tokens? Doesn't have any range to shoot you at. So uh, we're going to call that it. Did we outwit? No. Not outwit. We could have outwitted you, that. You outwitted my toughness. I did outwit your toughness. You're right. Reflex. Use my outwit. Yeah, okay. Here you go. Okay. I'm going to sidestep. To there. Clear my action token, and it's your turn. Okay. That's step one, two with Eric. Token? No, he has a token. Ah, uh, darn, we sidestep. Can't use leadership. I always forget that. The free actions and action turn of phase is very new still, so mm -hmm. I'm just going to have to sit there with two tokens. Captain America can still see Eric. He's going to perplex up Eric's attack value. One, two, six. Okay, we can't outwit his ESD, so we will do that. So there's an 11 to 16. Mm-hmm. Let's see what we can do. A6. That'll work. And that's the game. All right. Yay. All right, so Calder, uh, what did you think after uh, playing this online? What did you think of the interface and all that stuff? I actually really like it. And I'm more, I'm not a huge tech person either. Like, that's why I like playing with little miniatures and stuff. But it's, it's actually really awesome. The rolling dice is easy and fun. Mm -hmm. Moving characters around is easy. It's not that hard to find images because you can find images everywhere on HC realms or even on miniature markets yeah it, it's seriously fun to play this game and if you can't get out and play a game every single week get with some friends and go online because i think this is wonderful and i cannot wait to see where this takes us in the future yeah same here like it's like you saw me mess up a couple times like i was doing a, a screen share thing and they'll they'll see a couple spots where like i was messing up but, I mean, that's just learning curve. That's not it being difficult. It's just me remembering how to put an action token on here. But, I mean, the rolling the dice was easy. Setting it up. Like you, like I, I can do a little bit with a computer, but I wouldn't say I'm a tech whiz. And this was easy enough to set up. Um, interface is good. Um, figure images, like we said, are easy enough to acquire. So, I, I think this is going to be a big deal. Um, I look forward to playing a bunch of uh, online uh, ROCs. Absolutely. But, uh, all right, Calder. Well, uh, if somebody wanted to support Dial H for Hero Clicks, where would they go? Dial H for Hero Clicks, as always, fan interaction is an amazing support. So we have a Facebook, we have a Twitter, and we have an email. You can all check that out. So if you go any of those, you can find links to all the other ones. And also, we have a Patreon. We have a really cool system where you donate, it kind of adds up over time. You build up, you go through the ranking system. We like giving things away. We like giving you guys cool names. So feel free to donate to your Patreon if you want to support Dial H for Hero Clicks. We, of course, are sponsored by CoolStuffInc.com. So another way, of great, another great way of supporting us and getting your clicks fixed. Aha, see what I did there. There you go. I like uh, it. <laughs> he's going to CoolStuff.com and picking up your figures that way. There you go. Very good. So you guys uh, make sure to support them. And then uh, if you want to support Mr. Clicks Flicks, as always, uh, check out the description. We have a uh, Spreadshirt store now for uh, Hero Clicks related t-shirts. They have all the way up to 5XL for our, us big guys that uh, have trouble getting clothes. I have a Patreon also with uh, tons of cool stuff to give away. Uh, what else do I have here? Uh, oh, uh, Amazon. And I have a... Uh, there's also a uh, Amazon influencer store where uh, you go in there and anything you click on, it's an affiliate link, uh, will net the channel some amount of money. So, uh, again, thanks to uh, Calder from Dial H for Hero Clicks. Uh, that's all I have for you today. As always, please remember that it's only critical miss if you don't have probability control. <laughs>